everybody, this is your daily tarot reading for Saturday the 12th of May. Thank you for joining me. I'm using the Bonefire Tarot for this reading. Let's have a look at what the cards want you to be aware of today and what energy you'll be working with. So, we have the Hangman in reverse. The Four of Swords. And the Ace of Swords. Okay. So, we've got a lot of situations um, and a lot of people, a uh, person in each card, with their eyes closed in some sort of restricted environment. So, first of all, the Hanged Man. In reverse. We've got him here... Um, Hanged in this tree. We've got the trident there that's on fire. Apple being bitten out of. That might represent unmet potential. Um, he may have been hanged over money or some sort of um, misdeed, something like that. So this is really looking at the card in a literal sense and, and providing reasons for what he could have done to have been punished to be hanged. The, the card in itself usually represents um, a matter of perspective and turning things around to see them as they truly are. You can see it's the 12th card of the Major Arcana. One and two is three. Three is about communication and thoughts and mind. So when you turn the hangman around, his legs form a four. And four is about stability and structure. And usually in the regular tarot, he has a halo around his head. And it shows that by seeing things differently, you can build something solid. And it's by becoming enlightened in a way. Even in this card, if you let the feelings or the spiritual side of things drip into your consciousness, then you create stability for yourself in your life. But it's by communicating with your own inner feelings or by connecting with the higher power, the spiritual self. So the card is in reverse today. So there is that feeling of being judged or punished or restricted or held back. The Four of Swords looks really fun. We've got this woman having an amazing bubble bath. I don't know what this is up here, but they look like cosmic earmuffs. And her hair is so chilled out that it is just like um, coalescing into these pools of paint. <laughs> her hair is so well rested, it's leaving reality. She's got one boot and one boot on and the other foot covering it very coquettishly. And then we have the Four of Swords. Now, the Four of Swords is about rest and relaxation and preparation before you take action. Swords, you can see them here. They're the element of air and they have to do with ideas and thinking and um, making a plan and then going for it. But this is the preparatory stage or also it could be the stage where you're procrastinating to some extent where you know you've got something that you should be doing but you're doing everything else instead you know like if you have to do your final test or your final essay or exam or something like that things you would never usually do you start doing like you start cleaning the house obsessively you start um yeah, things that would never occur to you, anything to avoid that horrible task that you don't want to undertake. So again, this is a, a kind of state of being passive and stuck in a way. Yes, she's relaxing, but um, either she's procrastinating, which Louise Hay says is just another way of not loving yourself. Because if you procrastinate, you're causing yourself pain. That state of, oh, I should be doing something, but I'll put it off. That is one of the worst feelings. Like, it, it, horrible feeling, that. So that's the case as well. And then finally, we have the epitome of all of this, which is the Eight of Swords. And the poor Eight of Swords, she's blindfolded. She's been bound. She's surrounded by swords and trees. She has no way out. 
She doesn't know what's going on and she feels like she's in a really uh, desperate situation and there's not a lot of hope there. So it's not seeing things clearly, being surrounded by negative voices who are controlling you and telling you things that aren't necessarily true. And really just a, this is a negative situation. This is not a happy place to be in. So we've got all three of these cards, which are kind of unhappy in the sense of you in connection to the real world. So here we've got a system that punishes a person for doing something by hanging them. Here we've got a person who is trying to interact with the world in some way, but is either trying to perfect the plan or is scared of it and is procrastinating because of it. The page is blank, I just noticed. The action plan page here that she's taken into the bath with her is kind of blank. And then here we have someone who's utterly stuck by, and people around her are telling her um, misinformation and she's kept in the dark and she feels like she has no way out. So the cards are telling you today that it's really important to um, break out of your situation, whatever it is, to step away from it, to blow it up, to um, go away for a little bit and see it from um, a different angle. But it's really, uh, every card is like a step towards becoming really trapped and in a place of unhappiness and being stuck. So usually when we're supposed to make changes in our life, the um, universe often talks to us through pain. You know, the most, the most enlightened people, they hear the messages of their guides and it's all wonderful and um, they, you know, they meditate for hours every day and they have that real relationship and they don't have to be in pain to hear the messages, they just get it. Other people, like the majority of people, um, don't always hear the messages and what the universe does then is it fills you with pain so that you have to do something about it. So, you know, if you would be better off moving somewhere else, because that would be much better for your business, for instance, but you've been putting it off and off and off for years, even though you know it's the right thing to do, then the pain will get to such a great, to, it will become so powerful that you're forced to do something about it. And really just take the blindfold off, kick all these swords over, untangle yourself and say, okay, enough already. I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm getting on with it. I don't want to be in pain anymore. And this is the kind of um, day that um, is going to push you and push you and push you until you do what's asked of you so you don't procrastinate anymore and you really uh, take the bull by the horns and you tackle whatever problems and issues you have head on so that you can reassert control and power and freedom over your life rather than feeling like you're completely stuck. So if you know, you've come to the end of the road in terms of the career and you're at the ceiling of what your work does and you're bored of it, but you don't know what the next step is, you may have to look at other things to discover um, what you could do. You may have to quit that job. Or if you're retired and you're in a situation where you feel you don't have a role to play particularly, you'll, but you, you're, you want to keep things as they are, you'll start to experience this emotional pain which is urging you to make a change. So it might be that you have to volunteer or that it, it, the universe is asking you to socialize more or to uh, travel or to you know, go live with the kids and the grandkids or whatever it may be. But it's a day of really things building up, building up, building up to the extent where you just want to say, okay, enough. I need to break out of this, this oppressive, just ugh, feeling like everything, just get away from me for a second. I need some space to think. I need time to kind of decide what's right for me instead of constantly meeting your needs and your demands. And I've had it. I just need some time for myself. 
So really, if if you get frustrated with other people or if you feel overwhelmed by the constant demands, then don't um, be surprised. That's kind of what the day has in store. And if you want to make the most of this day, really plan a day for yourself where you, you know, heaven forbid, turn your phone off. If you have the luxury of doing that, that is obviously... I mean, it is a weekend, so some a lot of people who work won't be working. Um, if you're retired as well, then you've got more options. But um, make it a day about what you and something that you want to experience. And do turn the phone off and just say, okay, I'm going to um, give things some thought. I'm going to go walk on the beach or do something that I really enjoy. And I'm going to take some time out to really feel this pain and look at what it's asking me to change in my life. And then I'm going to take the difficult step of acknowledging that and saying, okay, if I want things to change for the better, then I will have to make this change. And it feels horrible at the time, but once you've done it, then you'll be in a better spot. And then that'll last for a while. And then you'll have this process again, where You'll have pain crop up and then the universe wants you to make another change and on and on it goes. So the best way to do this is to not even go into this painful place and to have a connection with a power greater than yourself so that it doesn't have to get to the pain level um, and you make changes before it gets there. So you don't stay in situations for longer than they actually serve you. Number wise, we've got 12 and 4 is 16. And 8 is 24. 2 and 4 is 6. So this 6 is an opportunity in numerology. So you really have the opportunity today to um, do some soul searching and to look at what you want your direction to be and to take some time out for yourself. And it's also likely that by the end of the day, you'll have a clearer understanding of what the next steps are for you, what you want to do, what you want to achieve over the next couple of weeks and months and possibly even year, maybe you've, you've decided to shift gears altogether and go in a different direction altogether. Um, but by the end of the day, you'll have more clarity than you went into the day with. So I hope you have a great day. If you would like a private reading with me, then please visit the website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to audio reading. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll speak to you tomorrow.